Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. In our video today, we are going to be having a look at probably one of the most important aspects of the flight simulator and that is of course where we spend most of our time, the sky. Now, there have been different add-ons available recently for things like weather and cloud presets so that they all look as nice and realistic as possible, also ensuring that we get realistic meta injection, all that kind of stuff, which personally, for me, I still think that the default live weather injection takes the top marks at the moment. But there is one thing that many people have always said about the sky, and that is the colors and the saturation levels of the the actual atmosphere that we're flying in. Now, to be honest, it's probably not something that I've really thought about, but then when I do look at the pictures and compare it to an outside normal sunny day, it does look rather blue, maybe a little bit too blue in places. This oversaturation then also translates to things like the sunsets, the sunrises, dawn dusk textures. So would it be possible to make the actual sky colors look more realistic, which then of course, all of that light that you get from the sky reflects the entire tone of the simulator, not just the sky, but also the ground shading as well. Well, that is what we're looking at in our video today and a neat little mod that tries to reduce the amount of cartoonish looking colors that you sometimes get in Microsoft Flight Simulator and basically making the world look more realistic. But before we go any further, let me know in the comments down below, do you actually think that the colors of the default simulator are correct or do you think they could do with perhaps being toned down a little bit? So the mod that we're going to look at which makes the sim look much more realistic is called the ARPC Sky Mod. Now this is a free add-on which was brought to my attention by one of our community members. It's downloaded on GitHub and of course the link to that is in the video description down below. Head on over to the website, download the zip file and then once you've got that zip file, when you unzip it, you'll find inside there are three files. Now, these need to be copied into your main Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. That is not the community folder where normal add-ons go. You'll actually find your Flight Simulator folders in one of these locations. The top location is for newer installs, the second location is for older installs, and obviously the bottom one is for Steam, depending on where you've got your simulator from. So we're going to put those three files into the main installation directory for Microsoft Flight Simulator. That is found on whichever drive you've installed it on, Program Files, and then in the Windows Apps folder. Now, you may need to authorize permission for this. So in order to do that, once you've got the Windows Apps folder highlighted, go to Properties, and then click the Security tab. Next, click on Advanced, and then you'll want to change the owner. Once you're on this window, simply put administrator in here, make sure to spell it correctly, and then press check names. Once that's done, then just click OK. Next then, click the little tick box there, replace owner, and then make sure to press apply before pressing OK. As you do that, it will just change the ownership of the folders and files, etc. within this folder. Once you've closed all those windows down, you should now be able to access the Windows Apps folder. If you can't, there are also several tutorials online going through other methods you can do in order to access the information in this folder. What we're going to be looking for now, of course, is where Microsoft Flight Simulator is installed. Once you've found this folder, which is here, this is where you're going to pop the three files. Now the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 ARPC INI file, the configuration settings, you can actually change some of the uh, values in here to get the kind of sky coloring that you're looking for. I'm using one suggested by one of our community members, so I will pop these down in the video description below. You can check those out and then basically just copy and paste. You'll see as well, you're also able to use live editing, which means of course you can change these values and see the difference in the game live. 
So let's have a look then at doing that live in Microsoft Flight Simulator. With those settings then, all we have to do in order to turn on what is essentially a kind of filter is press Control Insert. Welcome to Bergen, a gorgeous part of the world, and this is currently default and the sun has just risen. Nothing wrong with this, this is completely default, and you'd probably be more than happy with what we see on screen. However then, with this little mod, if I then turn it on, this is the very subtle difference that we get. There you go. Hopefully you can see a difference there between the two. I certainly can. And I do think this does look more realistic. It just takes the edge off a little bit. And that is all it needs just to tone down some of the colorings. Let me take it away again and hopefully you'll see a difference, not just between the colors of the sky, but because the way the simulator works, all of that light is literally reflected down onto the ground. It affects the way all the ground looks as well. Once again, if I just pop that back on, and there we go, just a slightly different tinge. Now, of course, you can play with the settings yourself and find ones that you're actually happy with. If we move the time of day to literally the middle of the day, so the sun is up high, this is where you're not going to notice it quite so much. This is default, and if we now just turn on that mod again, you'll just see very slightly, perhaps more so in the distance, it just again tones down the sky coloring that little bit, so it's not quite as vivid and blue. If we now move to dusk, the sun has just set, this is where you are going to notice the biggest difference. And I'd love to hear your comments on what you think this looks like. This is currently default, a picture that we're all used to seeing. There is the Earth's shadow over uh, about halfway across the sky. Let's now turn the mod on and see how that affects the colorings. There you go. That is a huge difference. Now, the question I'd love to hear an answer to from you guys is, which one do you think is better? This, as I say, is with the mod turned on. And if I now just turn that back off, we will go back to default, which looks like that. So, it is a personal preference, and of course, you can mess around with those colorings to find a suitable setting that you like. So, as I said, this mod is most noticeable when it is dawn and dusk, but even during the normal daylight hours, it is going to affect it, as we saw, just taking that blue edge off, making things just I think a little bit more realistic and of course the views from above also affect it because this is where we spend most of our time in the sky. Now, of course, all of this is going to be personal preference. This is a view from the flight deck, and this is currently default. Turning that mod on, though, changes the tone completely. Is this what you prefer, or are you quite happy with default? Of course, the mod is free, so a massive thanks to the users that have taken the time to create this mod for the community. And of course, if at the end of the day you don't like it, you simply just don't turn it on, or you turn it on when you think it is going to make an overall difference. I would love to hear what you guys think about the different sky colorings that we've seen in the video here today, or if you have been using this program for a while now, if you've got any particular settings that you use with this mod, then please leave them in the comments down below so that other users like myself will be able to check them out. Maybe there is one setting which really does look superb. I've just not yet had a chance to tinker with it that much. Before you go, remember that if you are purchasing anything from the Contrail store, we have a special 10% discount for viewers of the channel. That is on your video screen now. Make sure you take a note of that for the next time you're uh, wanting to purchase something from there. And of course, it will then save you 10%. Also, our other partners, Inibuilds, make sure you check out the link in the video description below. Purchasing all your Inibuild stuff via that link also helps support this channel at the same time as picking up some awesome scenery and aircraft.
thank you so much for watching so I do hope you have found the video useful if you have of course please don't forget to leave a like and if you're not already a subscriber then please do consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and of course live streams thanks for watching I'll see you all again in the next one bye bye for now